Paul, point on the road, what's your assessment? I'm just a little bit disappointed with the old day, the old performance really, if I'll be honest with you. Yeah, just felt we were a little bit back to where we were at all the shot and um, filed and, you know, Altingham where we're giving the ball away cheaply at times and then teams are just running forward and breaking on us and to merely enjoy the game if it be truthful and you've got to take your yeah, that's obviously well done to Maiden Ed, it's a really difficult place to come, you know, but we can't keep giving first goals away, can we? You know, and giving teams something to hang on to, it's what we spoke about. Their goal from our point of view is a shocker, absolutely shocker. You know, and you're always going to be up against it. So great credit to the players for getting a point. You know, we've had some big moments in the game. Will's had a couple of really big chances in the game. Uh, we've had a certainly had a stonewall penalty not given, lads, and that's that's disappointing for me because. You know, like I said to the referee in, the, in the, uh, the room after the game there, I just didn't feel it was a hard decision. I just genuinely didn't feel, you know. And, and there's decisions that if we go and win 2-1 and we haven't played well, we're all delighted. So we have to accept our point and move on as a uh, tinge with a little bit of disappointment that our great runs just stopped. Yeah, it did seem a bit strange that Wilgrim wouldn't go down in that particular area of the just, box just, because, because it just, wasn't a foul. Just nonsensical, the referee's whole... Uh, decision and reply to me just doesn't make sense and that's what disappoints me because you've got a lad six yards out in the middle of the goal about to score work it out for yourselves it's it's not a hard decision to give but listen the referees make mistakes and that's if that's a mistake that he's made he's made the mistake hasn't he so we move on as i say congratulations to me and that's a great point for them they haven't been on a particularly good run alan does ever so well down here with his team and his players and we lick our wounds that we feel it's probably two points dropped yeah I don't know, was it two points dropped? They'll probably work that out over the weekend. Overall, just, just a bit of an off day, one didn't of those. Play days. well. Didn't play well. All our flair players were off. Our creative players, Jacobs has scored a fantastic goal from one of our best passages in the game where we actually retain the ball in the opposition's half instead of just giving it them back. Um, but our flair players today were not the best. And this schedule for everyone's tough, lads. You know yourselves, the travelling, the, you guys are doing the travelling, so you'll feel that. And you've got to just keep chaining up. We can't have any complaints about the output of points we've got. None of us can. And we're not going to win every game. But I always go off performances, me. I think when we were in the midst of our bad run last year, we got beat up board and wood and we were excellent. We lost at home to Oldham and we were excellent. And when you're playing like that, you always know you'll be all right. You can't play that well and not win. So today's just disappointing that, you know, we never, ever really, I never felt we imposed ourselves on the game where you felt we're going to score. It was much more a case of, well done, we've got one back. Can we get one? Yeah, we're probably finishing the game, defending our goal for far too long. Do you forgive the players for having a day like this when they've been seven in a row? Our players are never going to be under pressure with me like that. I seek big performances. Do you know, I seek us to, you know, when the last cross of the game comes into the back post, why isn't James Berry coming in from the far post? I seek our team to be in the right slots to play the game the way we want. And that's it. And obviously that's not a criticism of James, he's a young kid learning. Because when you come under pressure anywhere, you'll be there to type. And your type has to be, this is my job and I do my job. You know, their first goal sees a lad coming in our box totally unopposed when we've just had three lads closing one person down. It's in that willingness to try and help someone else, you negate your own job. And today we just probably were a little bit off it all over the pitch. So the players are fine. They, we we travel back now. We've got a really tough game against Bromley on Tuesday night. We're absolutely flying. And like everything in the game, there's no easy game. No, this place is a difficult place to come, and it's one of those where you sort of respect the point, as you say. Ah, you? you've got to, lads. You're not going to. You know, we have been on a great run, and it's always whenever you've done something, it's like anything. If you've been on great wins and you don't win. We all feel like we've done something wrong because we haven't won this week. And the reality is we've got to get an amount of points this season that at the end of the season we go, that's our points tally, in the hope that it's enough to see us promoted. We'll have bad runs, we'll have bad results. You know, I don't look at today's as a bad result, but I still probably feel a tinge of that it could have been better.